Today I'm going to be telling the story of the magic pakoras and I'm sure most of you will know that pakoras are an Indian snack. You can make pakoras with pretty much any vegetable but then the onion pakoras are the most famous ever and you just make them by mixing batter with some spices and salt and then you dip the pako uh, onions in it and then you fry them in oil. So those are the pakoras and now to the story. Kasia loved money. He was the king's treasurer. He loved money so much that he used to gaze at the precious gems and stones and he would run his hands through the heaps of gold and silver coins. And he loved money so much that he found it very hard to part with even a single pence. Every time his wife told him that their children needed new clothes, he would say, let the younger one wear the older one's clothes. And how about the whole older one? Oh, let him just wear one of my shirts. I'll alter it for him. Oh, every morning in the street where Kasia lived, a monk used to pass by. He, he used to stop outside each house in the street and ask for food. And people were generous enough to donate whatever they could rice, grains, vegetables, whatever. Ragi Tandira, Beksha ke Ragi Tandira. Ragi Tandira, Beksha ke Ragi Tandira. Yoga Ragi, Bhoga Ragi, Bhagyavanta Ragi Nibu. Yoga Ragi, Bhoga Ragi, Bhagyavanta Ragi Nibu. Ragi Tandira, Beksha ke Ragi Tandira. And every time he stopped in front of Kasia's house, the house door was always shut because he did not want to give away anything. The monk would stand there every day for a couple of minutes singing his usual kirtana and he would move on to the next house. One evening, Kasia was returning back from work. And as he was returning back from work, he smells nice, hot, crispy, golden pakoras somewhere. He turned around to see a pakora seller selling freshly made, hot, golden, crispy pakoras. Oh, the smell teased his nose so much. He just wanted to have some right away. But then, the person that he was, he was not ready to part with any money. He didn't want to pay for it. With a dull and gloomy face, he went back home. His wife, looking at him, asked, What's the matter, my dear husband? Why do you look so worried? Why do you look so dull? Is anyone asking you for some money? Or is something not working out? Casey said, Oh, no, 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 it's not that. Um, I just felt like having some pakoras. It's just that. His wife said, oh, is that all? Don't worry. I will just make some for all of us right away. All of us? What do you mean, all of us? Well, you, me, the children, and the people who work in our house. Oh, well, my dear wife, I don't think the people who work in our house will need pakoras. I don't think they've even been thinking about it. And the children? No, no, no. They're growing up children. You don't want to give them any oily stuff. And do you really want to eat any pakoras? Do you really like them so much? All right, you can just have one. <sighs> His wife sighed. Okay, let me just get going and make the pakoras. And he said, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't go into the kitchen. I don't want the uh, neighbors to get even the slightest hint. And they'll come around asking if we're cooking something special. And they want to taste it. And then eat all of the pakoras and go away. I don't want that happening. Just collect everything that you need to make the pakoras. And let's go upstairs to the terrace. And you make it there. Let's eat it there. His wife had no choice. She just had to follow his words. So she picked up everything that she needed to make the pakoras and they went upstairs to the terrace. She set the stove up and she put the pan on top of the stove and she poured oil into it. She lit the stove. And as the oil was preparing, she cut the onions, mixed the batter, added some spices and salt. And the oil was ready now. It was nice and hot. So she 
uh, mix the onions with the batter and she just fried some pakoras in the oil. Oh, soon the air was filled with a lovely aroma of the golden, crispy, hot, hot pakoras. Kesia couldn't wait. He said, give me, give me, give me, give it to me fast. I want to eat some. She put all the pakoras she'd fried in a plate and she handed it to Kesia. And she sat and looked at him as he was about to eat them. Kesia was about to pick up a pakora and pop it in his mouth. His wife suddenly nudged him. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look at our neighbor's terrace. There is a man standing there and he's looking at you. Kesia turned and he looked. There was a man standing in his neighbor's terrace looking very deeply at him. Kesia felt a bit uncomfortable. So he just turned around and he began to pick up the pakoras from his plate. But his wife nudged him, wait, 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 the man is here, right, in our terrace. Kesia couldn't believe it. One second he was there, the next second he's here, what's happening? But he still couldn't stay away from the pakoras. He said, let me first have one pakora and then I'll deal with this man. And he turned, before he could even looked down at the pakoras, he had a strange feeling. The man was standing right next to him, looking at him. Kesia was petrified. He immediately fell at the man's feet and said, Oh, are you some kind of magician? Why are you doing this to me? Please stop it. I will give you a pakora right away. Please have one and go away. And he tried to pick one pakora from the plate. But no. They were all stuck together. He, how much ever he tried, he was not able to tear away one pakora from his plate. He was absolutely stunned. He was, he didn't know what was happening. He said, why are you doing this to me? Please tell me, I'm so sorry. I have been a bit mean, but don't punish me like this. The man smiled at him and said, I am a monk. And a lot of my brothers are just waiting out there. They're all hungry. Will you give us some food? Kesia said, yes, yes, whatever you ask for, I'll give you some food. I'll give you these pakoras. And Kesia and his wife picked up all the pakoras and they followed the monk. They would have just turned a corner when they just saw a sea of monks there. So many of them waiting to be fed. Kesia looked at his plate. There was, there was like very little in it, hardly 20 to 30 pakoras in it. He looked at the monk and said, Sir, I have very little in my plate. How am I to feed all of them here? There's so many of you here. The monk smiled at him and said, Don't worry, just give with a generous heart. I'm sure you'll be able to feed all of them. And so did Kesia. He fed them. He, he distributed the pakoras. But to his amazement, the plate never went empty. Even after he had distributed the pakoras to all of them, the plate still had some left in there. Kesia felt a strange feeling pass through his body. He said to his wife, I feel a strange feel of contentment today. I feel so joyful and happy. Sharon does feel very nice. Let's go back home, make some pakoras, invite all the neighbors. Let's share it with all of them, all of us, you, me, the children, the people who work in our house and all the neighbors. Let's make pakoras for the entire kingdom. Let's share. Sharing is so much fun and it gives you so much joy and happiness. Ragi tandira, beksha ke ragi tandira. Ragi tandira, beksha ke ragi tandira. Yoga ragi, bhoga ragi, bhagyavanta ragi nibu. Yoga ragi, bhoga ragi, bhagyavanta ragi nibu. Ragi tandira, beksha ke ragi tandira. Ragi tandira, beksha ke ragi tandira. Thank you.